Look closely, these cracks tell a story of money lost, time wasted, and dreams delayed. But what if it didn't have to be this way? What if AI had been there from the start, scanning the soil, exposing the weak spots, predicting the disaster before it struck? Would my foundation still be broken, or would I be standing on solid ground today? Today, we face the burning question, could AI have saved my foundation? In this video, I'll show you how AI could have saved my foundation, even before the first brick was laid. Let's start with my story. My construction project was moving fast. The foundation looked solid, the contractors were confident, and I trusted the process. But weeks later, thin cracks began spiding across the concrete. At first, I thought it was nothing. Then they grew wider, deeper, and more dangerous. My dream was crumbling beneath me. So, how exactly could AI have saved me? Imagine if AI was used from the start. AI could have scanned the soil beneath my land, exposing the weaknesses I never saw. It could have warned me about hidden water pockets, shifting earth, and unstable layers that no human eye could detect. Before the first bag of cement was mixed, AI could have run simulations, predicting how my foundation would hold up under pressure, rain, and time. And before the first brick was ever laid, AI could have told me the truth, this foundation was destined to crack. And with that warning, I could have saved my money, my time, and my dream. AI doesn't just look at soil. It can run millions of simulations, predicting how a foundation will react to rain, weight, or shifting ground. A human engineer might miss a detail, but AI crunches endless data in seconds. Imagine cameras and sensors scanning every stage of your build, checking for flaws invisible to the human eye. AI could have noticed micro-cracks forming in my foundation before they became structural disasters. Now here is the dramatic part, does it mean AI will replace construction workers? Picture this, a robot bricklayer working twice as fast as a human, never getting tired, never making mistakes. That's not science fiction, it's happening right now. But here's the truth, AI isn't here to replace humans, it's here to work alongside them. While AI handles the data, the predictions, and the repetitive tasks, human builders bring creativity, adaptability, and problem solving. Here's the truth that nobody tells you. AI is powerful, it's fast, precise, and tireless. It can lay bricks at lightning speed, scan foundations with perfect accuracy, and predict problems before they even exist. But AI is not human, it has no heart, no intuition, no lived experience. Humans bring what AI cannot, creativity, adaptability, and wisdom build from years of facing real challenges on the ground. A robot can see cracks in concrete, but only a human can see the dreams behind those walls, the family that will live inside, the memories that will be made there. That's why the future isn't AI replacing humans. The future is AI working with humans. Imagine workers with robotic partners who handle the heavy lifting while people focus on design, safety, and vision. Imagine builders freed from repetitive mistakes so they can create faster, smarter, and stronger. When humans and AI build together, it's not man versus machine, it's man and machine. And together, they don't just build structures, they build the future. So, what does the future look like? Imagine a world where delays are cut in half, budgets never spiral out of control, and construction sites run like clockwork. AI saves money, no more wasted cement, no more costly rework, no more endless repairs. AI saves time, projects that take 12 months today could finish in 8 months tomorrow. AI saves stress, builders and clients can finally sleep at night, knowing AI is watching every detail. This is the revolution, from skyscrapers to family homes, AI is transforming how we build. And yes, it could save your dream project from the nightmare I faced. AI is changing construction worldwide. In Japan, robots and sensors build bridges and skyscrapers with precision, predicting cracks before they appear. In the USA, drones map sites, AI tracks progress, and robots pour, weld, even 3D print homes in days. In Europe, eco-buildings rise with green rooftops and solar panels, while AI cuts waste and lowers carbon. Japan builds resilience. America builds speed. Europe builds sustainability. The future is here, when will we embrace it? We've seen how Japan uses AI to build resilience against earthquakes. We've seen the USA racing ahead with speed, drones, and 3D printed homes. And we've seen Europe leading with sustainability, eco-buildings, solar rooftops, and AI grids cutting waste. If the world is already building with AI, then why not us? Why not Swaziland? Why should we continue to face costly delays, cracked foundations, and wasted resources when AI could save us time, money, and stress? The future is here. The question is, will Swaziland embrace it? Let me ask you something. What if artificial intelligence had been on my construction site from day one? Could it have spotted the weak soil before the first brick was laid? Could it have warned me that my foundation would crack before I spent a single dollar? 
What if AI had saved me months of delays, thousands in repair costs, and sleepless nights worrying about the future of my project? Do you think AI could truly cut construction costs and end delays forever? Or is it just another shiny promise that sounds good but never delivers? If AI can build smarter, faster, and stronger, then here's the real question, why are we still building the old way? Look at my cracked foundation, the delays, the money lost, the sleepless nights. Now imagine if AI had been there from the start, scanning the soil, predicting the risks, guiding every step. Would I be standing here telling a different story today? Could AI be the key to saving not just money, but the future of construction in Swaziland? The choice is ours. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching Lady C, and I'll see you in the next video.